If Thou Shalt Confess, by J.K. Van Balen, 1953. Teaching. Perhaps you never thought that you might be able to confess with thy mouth by teaching others, but you desire to learn. What is the first value of teaching others? By teaching, we learn, said the old Romans, which you must tell others you first have to know well yourself before you can express it in words. By teaching, we learn to think and to express ourselves. And so teaching teaches us to confess. Perhaps you could arrange to have yourself put on a Sunday school teacher's staff. You might be able to become a channel of blessings in that way. Still, we cannot all teach Bible school, not even if we extend our work to those outside the churches and tell the story of Jesus' love to the children of the wayward. There is another way. Perhaps you have younger brothers and sisters. These have to study their lesson for Sunday school or learn questions for the Bible class. Supposing you would take some of your time to help these little ones in their task, often so gigantic in their eyes. Let us say that you would tell them the Bible stories, go over the lesson with them. You could, by doing this simple work, become a power for good. In the first place, you would review and thereby keep fresh your own knowledge. Secondly, you would make it more pleasant and more easy for the younger ones to study their lessons. Thirdly, the impression which our little ones so often entertain that learning catechism is a necessary evil might disappear altogether. If they should realize that their hero brother or their big sister thinks such work worthwhile and even now enjoys it after he or she is all through with it. And finally, what boundless opportunities to leave the imprint of your own newly confessed faith upon their receptive young hearts, if occasionally you should add a few words like these. Now, Johnny, was that not wonderful? And must we not love a God who is willing to do so much for us? Would it not seem that everybody that has confessed his love for his Savior could do at least that much. Or if there are no children in the family to which you belong, is there not some little boy in the neighborhood whose parents know only Dutch while he himself studies in English? And if for this reason the little fellow does not get what he needs, could not you cultivate his acquaintance and become a friend in need to him in the above sense? Surely if this were more generally practiced, the Church of Christ would fare better and we ministers should notice the results in our work. Furthermore, you may sometimes have an occasion for indirect teaching and confessing by reading an essay or reciting a selection before one of the organizations representing the social life.